Congratulations. Thank you very much. I, I loved it so much. Thank you. Do you Good. like it? I love it. Are you kidding okay, me? That's I'm all that really, uh, really proud of it, but it's nice to hear people's you know, reactions. And that yeah, yeah Chris Van Vliet, Miami. So congratulations on the film. Thank you very much. Uh, what would you say is different about this Batman? Well, this Batman is definitely different in years, you know, he kind of starts out where we're starting out where a lot of other versions of them kind of left off, you know what I mean? In a way, like, re re retire, you know, I'm probably the same age as Christian and his last one, he retired Batman, you know, so this is right. a, um, and we were doing something different and obviously what those guys did was amazing and I have nothing but admiration for them and that's part of why we felt like we had to, to do something different so that we weren't just trying to repeat that for audiences because, you know, they did it so well. Um, and so this is a little older. He's a little more world weary. He's, he's, he's been around, you know, he's the block once or twice. So he's a little wiser, but he's definitely more cynical and a little darker and more jaded. Am I right in saying he might be a little bit more violent? Yeah, definitely. He's gotten, he's gotten, you know, a little bit like slightly, not unhinged, but he's just getting darker and darker and more exposed to the, the violence and the criminal element. And, and that world over time has just, had, you know, as he descends into that darkness has made him, I like the socks, has made him, uh, <laughs> has made him get, you know, darker and darker. I couldn't choose sides, you know, so I had to go with, with one of each. It. I appreciate it. When you were first cast in the movie, there was a lot of backlash from fans before you had even filmed one frame. What was your reaction to seeing that? Uh, you know, you, the, my reaction was a couple of things. One is I sort of, you know, you expect that there's going to be, people are going to have opinions about casting and these kinds of roles. So I know that there's going to be some, uh, you know, some backlash of some kind, almost no matter what happens. Everybody has somebody that they want to play the part in their idea of their version of the movie. Yeah. Also, I'm not the, like I said, we didn't do the sort of down the middle, straight ahead version of, of Batman, which I probably wouldn't have been right for, um, but instead did this, this other thing, which is a kind of a more sideways take on it. And, um, you know, I can't go around explaining that to everybody. It's just like you go, you make a good movie and you hope that what the fans really want to see is that you dedicate yourself to working hard and making something good for the, so that they get their money's worth. Can you tell me what it's like walking around in that armored suit? It's heavy. They screw you in. You know, you can't get out. You have to, you have, to have guys come over with like, um, you know, drills to get you out. And so wow. it's kind of claustrophobic and uh, it's a little restrictive and um, it's heavy. But uh, it's what you need to do if you're going to fight Superman. You know, you got you to go prepared. <laughs> Look, obviously, Batman's a fictional character, so is Bruce Wayne. But Bruce Wayne's very interesting. Uh, he's a philanthropist. He obviously knows the difference between right and wrong. I think he'd be very presidential. Do you think he could make a good president? I think probably Bruce Wayne has indulged in one too many violent late-night episodes. Uh, <laughs> you know, fighting crime to ever um, pass the presidential uh, muster test. You think that they might find out about they his... Might, he might have skeletons. He's got too many skeletons in his closet, Bruce Wayne. What was your diet like to get into the shape that you got in for Batman? It was like a lot of protein and not a lot of carbs, but just, you know, eating like four or five times a day. And, um, you know, you have to keep your calories up to build muscle. That was the hardest part. You just like, get sick of food and you don't want to eat anymore, like orange roughy, you know, or or white fish or chicken and uh, but you have to sort of keep a steady diet of that and then just lifting weights you know for a couple hours a day and uh, it gets old it gets old <laughs> would you say that taking on this character is kind of like taking on two characters like is it different playing bruce and playing batman you know i think that's an interesting question i think in truth you know you you your chief responsibility or mine was to play bruce wayne like to make that character human and relatable and so that the audience have a window into the soul of this guy that they can then project onto that Batman thing that they see that's that's really, you know, part of that's created by me in the suit, but a lot of it, you know, the suit, the production design, the sound design, the, the you know, the entire mood, like the director builds your Batman that you kind of inhabit. And so uh, you have a lot of help doing that. It's the Bruce Wayne that, you know, you have to sort of construct. Congratulations on the film. Such a pleasure Thank to you. talk to Thanks you. Thanks very much. Thank nice you so talking much. to you.